Hi, I'm Matt, and welcome to Tech Tested. Today, we're probably gonna break something. So let's go back in time to some older AMD hardware. All the way from the AM2 to the AM3 Plus socket, AMD used the same pinout on their CPUs for all of those platforms. So physically, every CPU for each of those generations will drop into the motherboard of the previous or future generations. A good example of this is the Phenom 2 series will run on most AM2 motherboards, almost all AM2 Plus motherboards, AM3 motherboards, and AM3 Plus motherboards. But what happens if you take an AM3 Plus CPU, like an AMD FX 8320, something like that, and you slap it into an AM3 motherboard? Well, technically, it shouldn't work. However, there are a couple examples of AM3 motherboards that do support the FX lineup, such as the Crosshair 4 formula. So today's gonna be a pretty short video. We're gonna be slapping an FX 8320 into an AM3 motherboard that in no way is supposed to support it. It has no BIOS updates to support the FX chips. All right, here's our test setup, and the motherboard we have is a BIOSTAR A770E3 which is just an AM3 motherboard, does not support FX at all. We're gonna boot it up first with an Athlon 2X4-635 just to make sure that everything's working. Then we're gonna slap in the FX8320E. All right, there we go. It finally decided to boot. And we're booting into Windows, no problem. We're gonna bring up CPU-Z so you guys can see that. As you can see with CPU-Z, we do have an Athlon 2X4-635. So, now it is going to be time to unplug that guy, pull it out, and we will install the FX CPU. Now for the moment of truth. I probably should have checked for a BIOS update, but I didn't because in theory, no BIOS update should support the CPU anyway, and I forgot. Um, if I recall correctly, last time I did check this, we are running the latest BIOS version, but in lieu of actually knowing that, let's uh, turn it on and see if this FX8320E actually works inside of an AM3 CPU. This is where things could go very wrong. I could fry something here. All right, fans kicked on, that's a good sign. Doesn't guarantee anything though. I'm not sure how long I should wait. I, I do think it would have posted by now if it was going to work. I mean, we should have expected this. This is nothing we didn't think might happen. Guessing it's not gonna post. All right, what we're gonna do is put the old CPU back in, see if we bricked anything, and check for the BIOS version to see if we need to update the BIOS. That might actually help. A few moments later. All right, old CPU's back in. Let's see if we bricked our motherboard. So it doesn't appear that slapping in that AM3 Plus CPU did anything bad for our system. Um, we're not trying to boot. All right, we can check the BIOS revision in CPU-Z to see if it's the latest BIOS revision. All right, so after checking on the computer over there really quick, um, we do have the latest BIOS revision. So that means there's really no chance of us getting the FX chip to work, which is kind of disappointing. I wanted it to work. I wanted something interesting to happen. Um, on the plus side, we didn't brick our motherboard. We might've bricked the CPU. I haven't tested that, but I'm guessing it's fine. Um, but yeah, I guess if uh, there is no BIOS update for the FX lineup on your AM3 motherboard, it's not going to work. Anyway, short, stupid little video. Tried something, it didn't work, but you don't know if you don't try. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Follow us on our social media platforms and check out our Discord and our website so you can pick yourself up some tech test and merch. And let me make these mistakes so you guys don't have to.